Hey guys, today I'm going to review this Nova OS which is the Note FE full port for our Galaxy J series devices and A series also one or two devices it supports. So all of the supported devices I have uh, I've just uh, posted them in the description below so please check the description before uh, like installing the ROM and all of the XJ thread links are in the description below for all of the devices like J7, 16, J7 core or J7 NXT, J7 Prime, it's available for really uh, many devices so please check the description first. So guys I'm in all of the social networks so don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, also you can join my Telegram channel for quick updates and also add me on Snapchat so we can interact in a proper way. So also please if you have Instagram just follow me there because I'm going to post a Q&A post uh, before reaching 5000 subscribers so we are going to do a Q&A on 5000. So now let's start. So guys the Nova OS is a full Note FE port and it's available for various J series and A series devices. For A series maybe one or two only devices supported for, for in the J series there are many devices supported such as J716, J7 Core which is the J7 NXT, J7 Prime. Also it is coming for J7 15 too and it's available for maybe A516, it's also available for J7 Pro and many many other devices all which I have posted down below in the comment section so please check and all the links are all there so let's go first to the settings and into the about device we can see it's uh, we can see the logo of the Nova OS it's available for J716 ROM version is D and yes the D version is available to everyone so don't worry so the release date is 2011 uh, the ROM developer's guide SY means Syria, the developer country and here is the direct link page you can just open the XTA page in case if any update is available you can directly download the update from there that's really also cool. it got a new system UI which is a theme that's really looking cool also the edge lighting is there and it works really awesome let me tell you that okay uh, let me show you that manage notifications okay back advanced settings and you can click preview here so it will show you and you can increase it uh, up to its bit you can set also custom colors so it will be available in violet also that's great it also has native blur for power menu and edge panels so as you can see if i open the edge panels it really looks really cool and the blur effect also looks cool also in the power menu you can see the blur effect looks cool but in the recents uh, we don't get any blur effect and also in the notification panel no blur effect but here in the edge panels it looks really cool also we get the capture screen option so you can just touch it and capture screen or record choose it and just press here to capture also we get a performance mode it's set to optimize you can set it to game entertainment and high performance anything you are doing also it has s power planning so you can save battery for calls blue light filter doesn't work so you can just hide it away okay so i forgot to tell you guys the main thing like when you first time boot this device in the j7 2016 uh, okay some you can see the resolution will be like blurred out so you just need to do this thing just need to like do it until qhd wqhd then apply it then it will become cool okay the display will become okay then again come to HD and apply it and that will be uh, that you will get a good display first when you like install this ROM and you will have a fresh reboot you will see some like blur things on the screen so you just need to do this and the screen becomes like okay you also have the LED indicator but it won't work because we don't have the LED indicator so guys as this is a note a few port so it will also have air command it looks really awesome and the blur effect looks really awesome you can see live messages translate and to use the translate function you will need to uh, install the optical reader as it says so you will need to download it so you need to download the uh, optical reader and then you can translate the uh, things on text so i added calculator and my file so i use it uh, like more and also you can if you have the samsung notes app you can just create note and also have about notes and uh, the notes right directly entering the note app so i like that the air command is really handy feature and looks really cool it like blurs the whole screen so it like, looks really cool here so guys i am using this rom for like one and a half days and now let's it's time to uh, clean now the memory so let's see how much uh, memory we get here after cleaning everything 
so we have 620 uh, 672 mb uh, like 700 up to 700 800 mb you can get up to clear at first time i got 801 uh, 805 mb something available space but it may stay up to 700 to 800 so don't expect more up to 1 gb so one thing i didn't like is the camera the camera app is the normal stock j7 2016 camera maybe it was giving some uh, force closes or maybe four stops so it's removed but it's the stock j7 16 camera so no filters so you need to install some apps for it sorry guys <laughs> so guys it also comes with some oreo ported apps and one is the oreo keyboard it looks really good also we have this switch here can switch to predictive text and also switch here to this quick actions the live message the uh, like if you have a spin so it's not for you so this is for clipboard and this is for okay one handed mode so that's great this emojis and we get the normal samsung emojis on so guys that's it for the video review of this uh, rom nova os node fe full port now let's move to the installation so guys as always just power of the device at first Boot your device into Cradle Lab recovery mode, pressing the volume of the home and the power key. So, guys, into your TWRP recovery mode, just go to backup. If you want to backup your older ROM, just click everything and swipe to backup. Don't forget to click this EFS, it's really important. Let's go to wipe, advanced swipe, dial with system, data. Oh, sorry, data and cache and swipe to wipe. Let the wipe complete. Go to install and then choose this Nova OS project and then swipe to wipe it will open the like uh, or my installer just choose backup pfs and skip everything and that's you are ready to go then just reboot device and that's it you will be enjoying the nova os i'm sure so guys if you really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe for more videos and goodbye we'll see you in the next one